Hi again everyone. I am back with another week of grocery hauls. I went back to Save a Lot today because they had some really good deals on some things when I was there last week and I wanted to get some of those things. And I apologize if you hear screaming or whatever from in the back rooms. Today is my son's birthday and he has um, some friends over and they're acting like banshees. Um, so, huh, you would think that, that by the time a child is 16 that he would not be, run around and scream, but oh no. Do you hear them? Marshmallow. I'm a walking marshmallow. Do you hear him? He's a walking marshmallow. Let's see, while I look at him. A walking marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it. <laughs> Come here, son. Come here, birthday boy. <laughs> He's the steak puff marshmallow man. Marshmallow, not a walking one. Teddy, it's okay. Okay, you push, I pull. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's not going to work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got, you got halfway. You got halfway. Boom. Boom. <laughs> now you're a walking marshmallow, but a minute ago you were a rolling marshmallow. <laughs> swallowed me. <laughs> I'm putting this on YouTube. No! <laughs> what up? Boom! <laughs> I so much apologize for being interrupted by the walking marshmallow. <laughs> um, that boy is crazy. And that's why I love him so very much. He's just silly. That was hilarious. So, <laughs> too bad I didn't get any marshmallows. <laughs> I would have thrown them at him. And we have a, a thunderstorm coming through, so I'm trying to hurry this up, and then I have a bunch of crazy kids. Um, so anyway, back to my grocery haul. Um, yeah, I got uh, a gallon of orange juice and a gallon of milk. I have been really not eating a whole lot of fruit lately because um, I haven't been to the store to, to actually buy fruit, a lot of produce. I keep forgetting fruit because we have so many vegetables that I just think, well, I don't even know to need to go to the produce department, so I haven't gotten a whole lot of fruit lately. Um, and so it's like I'm craving vitamin C. I found a bag of um, cherries in the snack drawer in the fridge yesterday and I was like, oh, fruit. <laughs> so I felt like I needed some vitamin C so I got a gallon of orange juice. Um, my husband was with me today so we got some things that I don't normally get. Um, he wanted this kind of um, smoked sausage. He really likes this um, this brand from Save-A-Lot. Um, got a package of extra sharp cheddar and a package of mozzarella. Got a package of American cheese. We were almost out of mustard, so I got another bottle of mustard. I got some ground mustard because I thought I had some, and the last couple of times I've had a recipe that called for ground mustard. I, I kept looking for it and my husband and I both said, I thought we had some and I just didn't get it and I forgot to add it to the list. And I was looking at the canning things while I was at the store and a lot of people put ground mustard in pickles so they had this with the canning supplies and I thought, ah, I need some ground mustard so I'll get that. The children interrupted me again. I'm sorry. 
I got another pound of butter. I got two pa uh, two cartons of heavy whipping cream. My son requested um, chicken Alfredo for dinner tonight for his birthday. So I had some. Uh, I had part of a carton of cream in the fridge, but I've used it to make some ice cream, so I wasn't sure exactly how much I had. So I went ahead and got two more cartons. And I got some more yogurt. I need to make some yogurt, and you have to use plain yogurt as a starter, so I got some of that. Uh, this is another thing that I don't normally get, but the hubby was with me, so I got some party mix. I guess he wants to party for my son's birthday. <laughs> I got two bottles of barbecue sauce. This was on sale, I think, for like 79 cents, so that's a great price. Uh, some Maxwell House coffee that was on sale for $5.99, which is a really good price for Maxwell House coffee. Uh, once again, <laughs> sorry if you hear the kids, they're nuts. <laughs> I got some strawberries because I was craving fruit. I got two packages of mushrooms for the chicken Alfredo tonight. I got a boatload of bananas. They had this, this one buggy at the front of the store uh, completely filled with overripe bananas and they were on markdown for 25 cents a pound. Now, I some of these are perfectly fine for me to eat. The kids won't eat them because they say they don't like them like this. But I think that's when they're sweetest and they're the best when they're a little overripe. So uh, if we don't eat these in the next day, I will peel them and put them, hello son, and put them in the freezer for smoothies because it's getting close to school starting and I like to send the kids off um, to school, especially in the beginning of school when it's so hot. I like to send them off to school in the mornings with um, a smoothie and we've had a few smoothies lately and I'm running low on smoothie ingredients. So this was perfect. I just um, put as many in the little child carrier thing that would fit next to my purse. So. And then the last thing that I got today was uh, also in the canning se section. I got a package of uh, ketchup mix. I've been wanting to make ketchup with my cherry tomatoes, but I wasn't sure exactly which recipe to use and all of the different um, seasonings and everything, so I thought I would give this a try to see if it works with um, the cherry tomatoes without, I, I'm not going to peel all of my cherry tomatoes, peel and deseed them. So what I thought I would do is just um, cook them down and then take my stick blender and um, blend them up very finely and the seeds and and skins should disappear so it should be fine and then um, since this only makes five pints I'm not investing an entire batch of um, ingredients to something with the cherry tomatoes and if it doesn't work exactly right that's fine um, I can make um, ketchup with the bigger tomatoes later when we get a few more of them in but I have <laughs> the kids are nuts, sorry. I have uh, so many cherry tomatoes that I've been wanting to do something with them instead of just eating them for set with salads. And <laughs> So I thought this would be a good thing to do. And it was only like $2. So that's my grocery haul for Save-A-Lot. I will have another trip. Hopefully Thursday I will go to all these because we do need quite a few things. Um, I've been purposely not buying a lot of things because we've had such an abundance from the garden that I feel like I'm just surrounded by food, but um, we are starting to run out of some basic things. Um, that's why I got some barbecue sauce and 
some a few packages of cheese, but the all these cheese is so much cheaper. So um, I will be making a trip there and uh, stock up. So I will see you then. Okay, I'm back with another Aldi grocery haul. And uh, sorry about the noise in the back. Um, one of my kids is vacuuming and I'm not going to stop him <laughs> at all. So let me show you what I got at Aldi today. I got uh, some crunchy granola raisin bran. The kids wanted to try that. Some saltine crackers. I finally found some brown rice at Aldi, so I was very happy about that. Uh, my husband loves these peanuts, so I got those for him. I got three packages of extra sharp cheddar, two packages of mozzarella, and a package of Swiss. Uh, the Swiss is just going to be for snacking. One block of this is going to be for snacking, and the rest of them are going to be for pizzas and recipes, things like that. Um, got another package of ground beef. Uh, half a pork loin. Uh, what I've been doing when I buy these, you can see they're about $11. I take them and cut them in half and put one in the freezer and one goes in the crock pot for uh, pulled pork and it's delicious. Um, got a package of lunch meat, the honey smoked ham or hickory smoked ham. Um, we've already opened this because we were starving when we got home from the store and we made sandwiches. Another bottle of mustard and some 12 grain bread. This is my favorite and I've already opened it because I made a sandwich. Uh, some sunflower seeds, sugar, tuna, and some cheddar cheese Pringles that's for the kids for snacking and it's already been open because they had lunch. Two bags of tortilla chips, bag of yellow onions, some flour tortillas, two packages of bacon because we're going to have um, BLTs for dinner tomorrow night I believe, a pound of cherries, a box of spaghetti. We were almost completely out of trash bags so I got another box of those. I don't think any of my garlic from the garden is going to come in at all, so I had to get another um, package of garlic. Um, my husband really enjoyed the iceberg lettuce that I got a few weeks ago, so I got some more of that. <laughs> I got two more bunches of bananas, bag of carrots, some mesquite barbecue kettle chips for the kids snacking, a bag of everything bagels. I'm still doing pickles and things, so I got four bottles of white vinegar, a bottle of vegetable oil, and a bottle of extra virgin olive oil. And there's Eric. Just a very quick glimpse of Eric. So that's my grocery haul for the week, and um, hope you having a, you're having a great day. And thank you so much for watching. Fly high, Pooh Bear!